Hi, and uh, welcome once again to the Lima Bravo Zero Fox Trot India Shack. I'm uh, your host, Morton, LB Zero Fox India. And earlier this week, I released a video about uh, testing an antenna with a Nano VNA. And I had some issues about displaying the Nano VNA results properly on the screen. And while being a guest on Ham Nuggets on Monday, I got a comment in the chat from Kiwi9 MTD Aaron Webb that it was possible to show the results on your computer screen. And I hadn't really thought about that, but I've seen it, but I didn't think about it. So I've dug a little bit deeper into that. And after the intro, we'll have a look and see how it works. So what I found was Nano VNA Saver, open source, you can find it on GitHub for both Mac, Linux and Windows. And I'll be using the Windows version here. And um, I've downloaded it, I've set it up. So um, let's fire it up and see what happens. Okay, we are set up with the Nano VNA on the desk here. So let's uh, turn it on. And hopefully uh, we'll see the Nano VNA here straight away. I'm going to hit rescan here to see what happens. And as you can see, it shows up as COM port number four. So we are connected. Uh, then we're going to do a sweep and I'm going to set it to sweep for the, I'm uh, just going to move this window here, sweep for the two meter band, which is the band we're going to test. And we're going to do some padding on the limits by 10%. And as you can see up here on the left corner, it's autofilled. Uh, it starts at 143.8 megahertz and stops at 146.2 megahertz. And how about calibration, you say? Yeah, we're going to do that as well. And it's time to do a calibration here. And we got the three calibration standards here, or thingies, as I called them earlier in my last video. And we're going to click down in the lower left hand corner here where it says calibration and we're going to use the calibration assistant and uh, then you get a pop-up window which says uh, make sure you have the open short and load standards available and uh, also have a through if you're doing a two port calibration we're not doing that we're only doing a one port calibration and you get the first one here where it says uh, please connect the short and the short is this one where the center pin and uh, the outer part are connected. So we're going to screw the short in. And we're going to press OK. Then we're asked to uh, insert the open, which is this one, which you can see has no center pin and therefore is open. And uh, it also says you can leave it just unconnected uh, to calibrate this. Now we're done with open and we're gonna connect the load. It's a 50 ohm uh, demo load. And then we got a pop-up box that says the required steps for one port calibration are now complete. And now we're just going to click apply because we're only going to need this one port. And we are calibrated. So let's uh, hook up the antenna and uh, see how the Diamond X50 performs now. Okay, I got the Diamond X50 connected and this is not the same antenna as uh, I used in the last video. This is my own X50 that I've got on the roof here, which I use for two meter uh, simplex and repeater use. So there are some results populated here and uh, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna click sweep over here on the top left. And there we go. And this actually isn't as good as the earlier antenna that we tested. Uh, still got a halfway decent SWR, but it's it's pretty high somewhere, actually. Uh, but we can uh, do a sweep for both 2 meters and 70 and see how it performs uh, all the way across. So we'll enter from, yeah, we'll do it from 130 
megahertz. I'll find the Z here. 2450 megahertz. And click sweep and see what happens. Let's see where the depths are here. Uh, the first step is on 136 actually. And then it moves up and we got another dip at 149. And let's see here over on the 70 centimeter band where we are. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good at, uh, at about uh, 434 megahertz. So, so we're good on that. And that's how easy it is to connect a nano VNA to your computer and uh, get a reading that's a little bit more comprehensive and a little bit easier to read than it is on the small nano VNA display. And as this showed, I might need to have a look at my uh, two meter antenna. My guess is that there's a bad connector somewhere. Um, so uh, once I have the time, I'll get up on the roof and uh, check the connector and do some measurements. There's nothing too bad about the SWR, but I prefer to have it a little bit lower. So I'm going to do that later on. But the point of this video anyway was to show you how easy it is to, uh, to connect your nano VNA to the computer and um, just do a quick sweep of your antennas. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3.